hello and welcome back to my channel today i'll be sharing this smothered turkey wings recipe it is a great and affordable alternative for your thanksgiving whole turkey if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel so let's get started with our prep first preheat your oven to 375 degrees fahrenheit then measure out one tablespoon paprika powder one tablespoon black pepper, one teaspoon cayenne pepper, one teaspoon curry powder, one teaspoon dried oregano, one teaspoon red pepper flakes, two teaspoons salt, one teaspoon slap your mama spice. Now this is an optional spice, you don't need to add it if you don't have it. One teaspoon thyme, dried thyme. And then get the whisk and you just whisk to mix the dried spices together. Set that aside and let's prep the turkey. So right here I have about 4 pounds of turkey wings. So we'll go right ahead to cut this. I've already cut up one pack and I'm just showing you how I cut the wing up. Sometimes your wings may come with the feathers still attached to it. So just go ahead and pluck those right out. Pluck out all the feathers. And then you want to cut right at the joint right there. There's a bone that connects each piece and you just want to cut it right on that joint having sharp kitchen utensils sharp knives will actually help to make the cutting easier so here again you cut up right on the joint and I have a bowl of water with lemon and salt and you can see the turkey wings all clean and prepped in a clean baking dish you want to drizzle up some oil I'm using olive oil and just brush that all over your baking dish and just set the turkey wings in the dish you don't need to arrange it because you're still going to be rubbing the dried spices drizzle up some oil again on that and pour in your dried spices and you just want to massage that into each piece if this is your first time on my channel welcome please like Hit the subscribe button to subscribe and turn on your notification bell to get notified when I drop new videos right now every Friday. So go ahead and cover this with aluminium foil. Don't worry, it's not going to be touching your food, you're just covering it. Place it in your oven. set your timer for 38 minutes please set the timer so you don't burn your food or forget go ahead and thinly slice one medium sized onion I love the purple variety of onion because it reminds me of my home country Nigeria then go ahead and ground half teaspoon of thyme, dry thyme. You just want to pound that into pine powder. You don't need to pound it if you don't want to. Add in half teaspoon of paprika powder and set aside. In a clean pan, put in about five tablespoons of butter. Add in your onions. Just stir that until it's translucent. Cooked, adding your spices. I add in one tablespoon of chicken base. 
you can use your chicken bouillon just good to taste and I added in half teaspoon of salt half teaspoon of black pepper go ahead and stir that I'm just sieving in half a cup of arrowroot powder which is a thickener so you can use flour you can use cornstarch I prefer to use arrowroot flour because it's a healthier alternative and I just add in two cups of water and stir you want to dice in another medium-sized onions and four cloves of garlic blend that in the blender bring out your wings from the oven and just turn to the other side and we're going to cover this up and put it right back in the oven to cook set your timer for another 38 minutes this is after another 38 minutes pour in your gravy and your onion your ground onion and garlic and you do not cover it this time around you just mix it and put it right back in the oven for 30 minutes uncovered here it is the finished product your turkey wings is ready look at that it's delicious and juicy thank you so much for watching have a great day bye